Welcome back everybody, my name is Rupert Goff and this is the September 2021 Mortgage Market Wrap Up. Let's start with the good news. And now onto interest rates. One year mortgage rates are up from 2.19% just three months ago to around 2.85%, almost 0.7%. Now 0.7% might not be scary, but consider this, it's a 33% increase in interest costs from three months ago. It also means an additional cost of $700 per annum per $100,000. So a $700,000 mortgage will go up by $4,900 per annum in cost. Now is the time to tighten your belt and make sure you have your expenses in control. For the first time in many years, the banks are now offering their own individual rates. For the past five years at least, if one bank has been offering X percent per annum, then it's likely the other banks have all been there or thereabouts. No longer though. For some fixed rates, particularly the longer three to five year rates, we are seeing a larger spread, sometimes 0.3%, but even as high as 0.5%. Banks all seem to have different views on where the market is going, and this is starting to show in how they're pricing their rates. In other news, the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Act, which is mercifully shortened to the triple CFA, was delayed until 1st of December, and you might be thinking, well, that sounds boring, Rupert, why should I care about that? But the outcome of the triple CFA will affect every single buyer and owner of a home from now until the foreseeable future. It will make getting a mortgage much harder and despite that sounding like a bad thing, it will actually protect buyers from getting into debt that they don't understand or can't afford. In fact, my bet is future generations will look back at the pre triple CFA era in awe at how loose getting a mortgage was. The time of, sure, I'm spending $400 per week on takeaways, but once I buy, I'll live on rice and soy sauce, are over. And finally, the bit you've all been waiting for, new taxes. That's right, from 1st of October, rental property income on existing houses is taxed just a little at first, but growing over the next four years. New built houses are exempt from this change, and just two days before the new rules came in, the government released the proposed guidelines for what constituted a new build. Two days. I mean, there's leaving your homework to the last minute, and then there's leaving the definition of major tax reforms until two days beforehand. Other clarifications in the tax changes included those who rented their properties to community housing departments were still able to claim back their interest expenses against their rental income. What do you think the outcome of these tax changes will be? Will investors sell off their existing houses en masse, or will there be no discernible difference in the market? Leave us a comment below, and as always, don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. Thanks for watching.